everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. Today I want to show you up front and close up my favorite feeder. The feeder I like the best, it's my go-to, and that's not saying that what you're using isn't good, it's just my favorite feeder, is First Nature. It's a feeder made in the USA by the company First Nature. Now they have two different types of feeders that are almost exactly the same. They really are. The difference is, well, let's let's explain that real quick. Both feeders I like, it's the same model almost, kind of tweaked a little bit. One model is their model that they sell all over. You can get it on the internet, eBay, Amazon, different stores all over. And that one has larger holes. Now that one is not bee proof. Sells for anywhere from eight to $12, depending on where you find it. What, what I like the best about it, and the other one as well, is it's three pieces. Now it comes apart for easy cleaning, big wide mouth so you can get a sponge in there and really wash it good. And that's what's very important to me. The only thing you may need is a little brush, pipe cleaner or something to go into the holes periodically where the hummingbirds feed out of to make sure that is mold free too. But it's the easiest feeder to clean and hang out and put food in. That's why it's one of my favorites. Now there's another feeder made by the same company, almost the same model, but Walmart sells that one exclusively. Now I didn't know that. I actually called the company and they explained to me that somebody at Walmart designed the feeder. Now that feeder had very tiny little slips. And that is a bee-proof feeder. No bees, wasps can get into that feeder. I'm personally a little concerned on it because, well, as you can see, I'm feeding hundreds and thousands of hummingbirds a day. And I worry if one of them chases another one or knocks him around, he may have his beak in that hole and I'm afraid he could damage his beak. I've never seen it happen, but it's just a thought of mine. Now, if you're feeding only a couple of them, then there's no issue with, with it at all. And some people absolutely love it because it keeps the bees out. And that feeder is under $4. You can get that pretty much nationwide for under $4. Same feeder, slightly smaller than the other one. I'm just very, not the, the container itself, but the base is slightly smaller. Walmart made theirs differently. They made the slits smaller, and I personally like the slits bigger just for me because the amount of birds that I'm feeding. So what I do is I take a soldering iron, heat it up, and from the inside, I take it apart, from the inside, I push it through because if you do it on the inside, the outside, when you go through, stays smooth, the inside might get a little rough. Do it from the inside and I slide it through each hole and make my holes bigger. And it's just for me, I feel safer because of the amount of birds I'm feeding. But this is my go-to. It is plastic, but I will tell you, I have never had one break. I've had them for quite a few years. They're very well made, these feeders. I like the idea that they're made in the United States. And they're a good size. You really don't need bigger because you don't want to leave the food out for more than three days. And if they haven't finished it, you should take it in and wash it up. Easy to hang, lightweight. So this way, if you do drop it, it's not going to break like a glass one can. And well, I can't find anything wrong with it. You do need an ant moat. There is no ant moat built in on this one, but you know what? We'll make ant moats that are so much better than the ones you can get on any feeder because the large amount of water you can put there. And that will keep all your little ants out. And that's all you really need to worry about. Like I said, if the bees are bothering your feeder, then go with the Walmart one. It is bee proof and wasp proof. Don't change the holes. Put it out and see if your hummingbirds will use it. But as you can see, they use this feeder. They love them. I've got both of them out here. It's both types of feeders, and they use both of them. It doesn't matter if, my, you know, the holes, because I make them bigger. And it's always been my go-to. The dollar ones from the dollar store are fine, a little harder to clean, but that only sits three birds. And when I'm feeding hundreds and many times thousands, hundreds come in at one time to feed, as hundreds stay out there waiting to take their turn. They're a little too small for me, but I do place the dollar ones out into the garden because the birds love it. When it comes to my windows, because I'm changing this and, oh, well, I'm not changing the food. I'm washing and scrubbing and putting more out a dozen times a day, it seems like. I like these feeders, and that's all I have to say. This, people have asked me what's my favorite. Well, these are my favorite feeders. I still enjoy making my little dots, 
and I still enjoy making ice cream feeders. That has been really something I really like. But all in all, these are great feeders. So if you want to check out something that's really inexpensive, go to walmart.com. I have nothing to do with them, not affiliated with them in any way. I just like their feeders because the price. And then if you want the ones with the larger holes, they're a little bit bigger. You can find that online, but both of them have a seating place for the birds to sit. They can sit, drink, and relax. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And feed the hummingbirds if you've got them. Take some off of my hands. Bye-bye.